Hi, I'm Ken Sherman, Senior Editor at CNET.com. Here today to take a first look at the Samsung Glide. This is a new phone for Verizon Wireless. It's also called the Samsung SCH U940. Now, for a long time, we've been hoping that Samsung would bring its SGH F700 to this country. Uh, that's a full touchscreen phone with a keyboard. And what do you know, this phone looks just like it because it actually is a version of the F700. It has that same keypad down below, same slider design. The screen is pretty bright and colorful. However, I did find it just a little small. Uh, the phone is actually a good size overall, but when you take a touchscreen, actually would like it just a little bit larger. I found that uh, my finger was kind of pressing the wrong things at times. Some of the menus were a little small, so I really wasn't in love with that in a lot of ways. One thing that's interesting about the touchscreen is they do have a pretty interesting screensaver. It's called a living cube. And what it actually is, it's kind of a Rubik's Cube type thing. Only one button here. It is a home button. It will take you back to the home screen as it would on the iPhone. A couple things on the side. You have a volume rocker. You have a button for the camera, uh, camera spec right here in the back. And you also have a locking button that will lock the touch screen. As I said, it does have a full keyboard. You can slide up the phone like that. You can see the keys here. Now, interestingly, unlike the Voyager and the Envy, this phone does not have any sort of navigation controls on the keyboard. So even when you have the keyboard open, you still use that touch screen for everything. I'm not a huge touch screen only fan. I do like having these keys down here, but it was a little bit to get my finger to travel back and forth. But it is very nice to have that QWERTY keyboard. It makes you typing emails very quickly. Uh, you can talk with the phone in this manner. I don't know why you'd want to. It is on speakerphone when you do that. You can also type messages using the keyboard, but it will be just a standard nine-digit keypad. Inside, there's a lot of features. It has VCast streaming video. It has VCast music for the music player, Bluetooth, organizer features, everything you might want. It doesn't have VCast mobile TV. Here on the screen, you have a few controls right up from the start. You have a menu button. You can press that. It goes right to the main menu. It looks a little different than that standard Verizon interface, but it does have that sort of convoluted organizational systems where things are kind of stashed in weird places. The screen does have tactile feedback, so press it. You can feel a little bit of a vibrating feedback. But like I said, found it just a little too small overall to make the phone useful, especially when it relies so much on a touchscreen. Overall, pretty decent phone, but just I don't think it rated as highly as the, maybe the Voyager or especially the iPhone or anything maybe in this category. I'm Ken Sherman and this is the Samsung Glide SCH U940.